your local weather authority forecast. Well, good evening, everybody. Still really, really dusty outside. I hope you caught a glimpse of the moon earlier while it was kind of closer to the horizon. It looked ominous. It looked really cool with all that dust obscuring the skies. And we're still seeing that. Notice these really defined halos around the lights off in the distance as well. Sky Tracker still bouncing around like crazy here in Odessa, indicating that those winds have let up a little bit, but only a little bit. Now it is going to be windy throughout re the rest of this evening, so make sure to hold on to your hats and drive carefully, especially if you have a high profile truck or trailer or anything like that, because again, it's going to be windy enough to jostle any vehicle around, most especially those higher profile vehicles. Thanks to our sky tracker here in Odessa, though, great look outside at those conditions. And switching over here to our satellite and radar, you can see this low pressure system is putting a little more space between itself and us here in West Texas, which is good news. That means its influence is going to be become less and less as that low pressure continues its journey off to the east. Now it is a strong, strong low pressure system. You can see that really well-defined counterclockwise flow pattern to all that rain and to those clouds. In fact, it was strong enough to push a little bit of rain our way here in West Texas. Uh, no small feat, judging by how dry our conditions are, it really almost conjured that rain out of nowhere. But that rain is nowhere to be found now. A little bit of cloud cover has uh, mostly dissipated, so our skies are clear in terms of cloud cover, but not quite clear in terms of visibility. It's still very dusty out there, so another reason to drive carefully for the rest of the evening. As we head into tomorrow, we're going to be dropping down into the 30s, reaching low temperatures above freezing, but much colder than where we landed earlier this morning and much colder than average for this time of year. It's going to be a chilly start to the day and a chilly noon that we'll experience here, 51 degrees by that 12 noon mark. Wind speeds will be calming down throughout the day, but it will be cold enough to initiate some wind chill factor at least before the noon hours. As we head into the afternoon time though, we'll see some mostly sunny skies and temperatures will pick up into the mid 60s for most of West Texas. And good news again, these winds are going to be dying down. We're at 23 miles per hour for Wink as well as Odessa and Midland, but the wind direction is just as important as those wind speeds. Notice it's pushing in a lot of air from the north, which is going to be responsible for cooling our temperatures down for tomorrow morning. Again, it's going to be chilly out there to begin the day and wind speeds will be holding on just enough to give us some of that wind chill. As we head into the afternoon though, winds continue to drop off though that northerly wind component becomes a little more westerly by the time we head into the evening hours Friday. By Thursday morning, we'll start to see those winds coming in out of the south and west and by uh, Saturday afternoon, we'll see those winds pick up a little bit more than what we have in store for us tomorrow. Generally that 10 to 15 mile per hour range for Saturday. Tomorrow, mostly single digits everywhere you can see temperatures back off down into the 30s for Friday and Saturday mornings with a high temperature at 63 tomorrow. We recover to 76 on Saturday and 78 by Sunday. Wind speeds really start ramping up again Sunday evening though. So if you like the windy days like today, well, we don't have to wait long until we see those winds return. Sunday into Monday looks like our next windy day. And we'll also pick up a 30% chance with thunderstorms Monday afternoon. Was gonna go get my car washed today. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm just gonna wait. It's just never a good time these no, days. It's never a good time in West Texas <laughs> to get a car wash. It's just not. I, I yeah. honestly haven't washed my in a couple months. And every week I'm like, I, I don't need yeah. to. I, I don't know. Need to. No <laughs> point. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, well, maybe after Monday we'll start to see our conditions calm down. Maybe Tuesday will be the next car wash day. Uh, we'll see what Sounds we can do. Sounds good. We'll see. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Jay. Thanks.